Greetings, hi, the war Al greets you, and I'm going to be showing you here once again another 5 vs. 5 Counter-Strike Global Offensive match. And this is game number 2 between the Ninjas and Pajamas in Complexity. If you haven't seen game number 1, click on the annotation link. Okay, they are going to be taking place on cash. First round went to Complexity. Quite a surprise. Check this out. Terrorists boosting two players up here. Looking like they are delaying, just in case Ninjas in Pajamas is doing some kind of a boost. Oh, they have one player pushed up middle, as we see at uh, Sandbags. That's going to be get right. Here's them pushing middle. He's going to wait a long time. Terrace are not checking this. And he will get the drop on them from behind to take out both of those players. Gares moves into the side. Exist is behind him. Will be able to clean it up. Now just Hiko and nothing left. And at the meantime... Counter Terrace have rotated all of their players outside of bomb site B. And uh, Terrace move in and get the bomb down. So that's a third round T side by right there. Oh, look at this. Nothing sneaking up behind Fiflaren. Fiflaren didn't seem to know what was going on there. Whoa, they could actually win this thing. Just exists left and he goes down. One That was incredibly sloppy there from Ninjas and Pajamas on that retake. Now, Cash is a map. You have to assume Complexity is going to have the advantage on considering it isn't played as much in Europe. So if there was a map that I would give complexity, it would be Cash, it would be Season, and it would be Dust 2. Just because Ninjas and Pajamas has been weak on that map in the past. Alright, it's a buy. Armor Pistol here for the counter terrorist. Freiburg buying a Deagle instead of that Armor Pistol. Going for the one-hit shot. He is waiting at the corner. Nobody is going to peek there, though. Terra's playing super passive here. Waiting for the uh, peaks. Those peaks are not going to happen. Except maybe get right at middle, playing with nothing there. Gears trying to do a wall bang. Into bomb site A. Terra's are set up to take A main right now. And they are getting ready to push. We see the rest of them pushing now through A main. And Gare's falling back a little bit. Huge delay. They're bringing the bomb through middle now. Two players through middle. Here's Anger getting ready for them. We see Gare's now getting ready to peek out. Into the site. They close the door in his face, though. Forrest takes out Anger. Oh, nice shot by Gare's. Moving into the site. Takes out two players. There is one player already rotated at the truck. Semphis moving in. That's get right, taking out nothing. Now just Hiko left. One versus three. On this armor pistol buy for Ninjas and Pajamas, they could steal this game back here. Complexity taking a very long time to rotate. That indecision may have cost them this round. And they didn't move into the site as one. They seemed very spread out. And all the terrorists are going to go down. Complexity is dead. And they just lost their economic advantage. However, the new meta game is a let's buy every round until one team wins two in a row. So let's see if Complexity follows suit with that. No, actually looks like they are going to be full saving here. Oh yeah, because they did get that that first round. I think they're going to go for a third round. Oh, this is third round. I, I, okay, Armor Pistol. Yeah, and they are going to be doing it. A little bit perplexed as to why they weren't buying and they were just waiting. So it's a full CZ, pre-CZ nerf, and helmets. And we have, check this out, at middle, two players playing here, very aggressively. Have to assume that the players are going to be buying. I think that's the right call, terrorists. Going to be boosting, Semphis up. Anger gets up as well, so putting two people here to take mid control. Get right, waiting for them. Checking it out. Two players in B. Bomb is set up to take bomb site B. So these two players, middle, are going to go through the vents. It's up to Get Right to hold that off. Semphis trying to pick him. Though. Sees the shoulder. Will go down. Forrest moves to do something. Terrace getting ready to push into bomb site B, though. Already moving through the vents. There's Anger. Four players now inside of the site. Fiflaren and Freiburg got to hold it down. Nice shooting by Freiburg there. That's three frags. On those entry and exists, moves in from the other side and picks off Semphis. Get right, little bit disappointing thus far in this series. 
All right, and that's going to force Complexity into a save, finally, because Ninjas in Pajamas is able to take those two rounds. We do see more CZ purchases, though. All right, Counter Terrace only putting one player at A. That is going to be Exist. Three players at mid. No, they're just doing this to take early mid control. It is going to be an A rush, though. So it is all up to Exist to hold this off until his team can rotate into position. All right, he hears the smoke. Where are the flashes? Oh, there's no flashes on these terrace. Just that one smoke. And looking like Exist will be able to hold this off. They do not have armor. Pulls out the CZ. Oh, Semphis able to take him down, but Gidright moves in from the other side. And again, Gidright, a little bit, takes down two players, but a little bit disappointing shooting there. All right, Ninjas in Pajamas now at three points. Complexity at one, and they will be able to buy up for this round. Now, Ninjas in Pajamas has been trying to hold off mid-control, and we see Complexity is consistently boosting two players up. And then waiting and pushing at a specific timing. And no smoke's going to be taking down middle. We see the three players at mid again. Not boosting anyone up this time. Gare is consistently moving into the uh, squeaky blue door room. He's been wall banging there nearly every time, so they know that a player plays there. Eco trying to get some entry kills. Get some uh, through the smoke shots, lucky kills. Not going to happen. Ninjas in Pajamas plays incredibly safe. Gidright is uh, pushed up here. Add middle in case they try to do the boost. They are not. Oh, just Semphis. So, yeah. Looking like they're going to try to take A side here. Semphis is going to push at middle. Oh, he knows where Gidright is. Wow. If he flare and boosts it up inside of the vents. Seems completely aware of where Gidright is, but still not able to take him down. Hiko now shoots him. Through that smoke, Gidright's still up at 35. He's taking a lot of shots, though. Gear's finally opening the door. Gets vision on Forrest. Should wait for a teammate to move in from the other side. That's going to be anger. Forrest takes out Gears though. Get right at upper. Now just Hiko left. One versus five. He's got an ace for the win. And we saw him pre-shooting. He's going to be going down to get right. And Ninjas in Pajamas now leads four to one against Complexity. Get right getting a three frag that round. Now a top fragger. Is coming back. All right, complexity here. No money. Will be forced to save. Oh, well, okay. I guess they're going to be doing a force buy here. They don't have any smokes. They just have a few flashes on them. So they're going to do like a Blitzkriegy sort of rush strategy here. And it looks like they will be doing it at bomb site A. One defensive smoke could kill this. If Exist throws the right smoke. And the smoke is down. Terrors are going to have a tough time now. That pre nade. Oh, it didn't actually do much. Terrace trying to push through the smoke. Exist. Holds it down. Takes out. Oh, good for the ace now against Garrus. Gets shot in the back of the head by his teammate. Got to pad those stats. Four rounds left. And there's the ace from Exist. Brilliant job. Not going to get now vision because we did catch all of that. But again, that one smoke just destroyed complexity there. That pre-flash delayed them through the perfect nade as well. What a round from Exist. Just holding it down. And we saw a little bit of ego there at the end where it was like, all right, there's one guy left. I could fall back. I could reload. I could allow another teammate to take the position. Or I could jump in the way and go for the ace. Got shot in the back of the head by a teammate as well. Gotta pad them stats. All right. Oh, wow. Nothing actually gets hit through the wall by Gidright at middle, even though he seemingly was doing perfect wall bangs. He's down low. That's incredible. Door is open. Gare is just, just playing with Exist. Just having a good time there. Opening the door like neener, neener, neener. Now the door is open. What are you going to do? All right, they rotate, rotate forest over here. So the door thing is working. Now boosting Zemphis up. Let's see if Gidright does get vision of it. We'll take off the x-ray as he jumps. Oh, just saw the head. You saw that? Get right. Doesn't seem to be aware of it, though. We saw it on his screen. So that's interesting. Now falling back into bomb site A. Semphis is able to take mid control. Terra setting up to take B side, though. Freiburg playing it from inside of the site. You can't rotate out of here, so he's committed to this. 
He's entrenched, and when you cage, when you cage a wild animal, they become deadly. All right, taking out Anger. Terrace now know where he is. He's got three players watching all sides. We'll be going down. Forest and Exist have to rotate, but they're nowhere in position to do it. Cash is a map where you have very quick rotates. You're always able to do a retake. Semphis right around the corner here, waiting for Exist. Does take him down. Actually does some damage on Forest. That's a trade. That's exactly what they want to do in this situation. Forest almost taking him down with Wallbang. Wallbangs play a, a, a big... Hard on this map. Oh, assumes that a player is going to be coming up from behind him, and that was Hiko. Smart move. Moves in to try to deal with Hiko, but uh, gets goes down to Gares. Shows himself there. Yeah. So we see a lot of wall banks go down on this map. Actually going to be uh, get right playing middle with an AWP. That's interesting. And uh, Complexity trying to make something happen here. Ninjas in pajamas ahead. So Cash is a map that's a little bit even. It's actually very even. It's it's just slightly CT sided. Well, they're boosting nothing over. Nade does not hit him. Nothing on top of the box, just in case there's going to be a mid push. Oh, anti anti boost by Forest here. Oh, Semphis waiting for him though. Catches him off guard. You see that? Boost a player up. Assume they're going to do some kind of an anti boost. That was crazy. I don't know how they knew that and why they put Semphis there. Very good game sense. And... Terrasque, they have bomb dropped. Senf is still playing that position. He was up on top of this truck, so he could see over top here. He's now getting boosted up to middle. Definitely caught Forrest off guard. Exists charging forward. Does find Gears with some pre-shots. Goodness. Shooting around the corner. Spraying it, checking all of them. I love that. Exists very aggressively. Takes out the uh, flank position. Oh, and Anger. One, two, punch. Throws down the nade and ends him. With that uh, that uh, Galil there. And get right. In the sight, sneaking around. Freiburg taking players down. Hiko has that bomb. And get right. Makes a mistake. Could have taken him down with the AWP. Instead, tries to take him down with the P2000. Now a one versus one. Hiko versus Freiburg. Hiko, looking like he wants to plant that bomb. Ten seconds left. He's got to make something happen. And he aggressive. He tries to kill the player instead of plant the bomb. And Freiburg does take him down. What a round. Ninjas in pajamas now ahead. Six to two against Complexity. And it looks like Complexity will have to save. Ninjas in pajamas should be aware of this. Should be, have, you have a good idea of what Eco is going on. Oh no, they're buying. Another force buy here from Complexity. This is a very light buy. Two players just with the CZ. Going to be a difficult round for them. They do have a lot of a lot of nades and flashes for this round, so they'll be able to execute whatever strategy they want here. And they got that bomb drop. They're playing at standard. Hiko making noise over here. Seems like all Hiko is really doing is making it look like they're going B, so I assume that the strategy at this point is to go A side. Hiko as a distraction. They're waiting for these smokes to clear. Exist has been playing different positions over here in Bombsite A and doing a great job holding it off solo. All right, they're going to do that thing where they boost two players up. Forrest completely ready for this. Playing it from the sandbags. Hiko picks Freiburg inside of B. Finally able to take it. Forrest does get flashed, but when he comes to, able to take out Semphis. Nice job. Fiflaren playing it from the vents. Hiko unaware. Death from above. Here is Fiflaren. Falling back and giving the sight to the terrace as they now move in from the other side. Exist from lower. Forest from upper. There is a smoke down here preventing the counter terrace from moving into the site. Bomb getting planted. You cannot hit through that box apparently. Fiflaren picks off nothing. It is Gares. One versus two. For the holds off. Hits his first shot. Misses the second. Nice, nice attempt there, but Exist finally able to take him down. Brilliant shot on Fiflaren. However, Ninjas in Pajamas now cements their lead at 7-2. And Blue Shell Effect is starting to kick in here for Complexity. However, they've been buying nearly every round, so just one save could put them back in it. Economically, and they're going for another buy. Wow. 
Another aggressive buy. And we've seen teams get into this habit of buying every round. It's just... It just doesn't work out. On Inferno, though, one of these rounds did work out for Complexity, and they were able to get it. They were able to clutch it and get back into the game, and that got them the win. So it's risky. It's not something you see a lot. Always a good idea to just take one round to save. All right, Exist, once again, waiting for these players to push. On this force buy. And Anger moves in for the frag with the CZ. Taking out Exist. They now have a big chance of taking this. Forest in the sight. Waiting for him. Anger taking him down very low. And Anger, one for two, into the sight. This looks like a round for complexity now. Wow. Counter terrorists. Waiting for them to peek, but they are not. They're not peeking from anywhere, which is the right call. Forcing. Counter terrorists to move forward. Here is Fiflaren. Catches nothing off guard. Get right moving into the site. Pulls out the pistol, jumping shot, but it's not going to be enough. Will go down. And Complexity on that force buy, that I criticized them for, will be winning it and getting back into the game. They've done that now twice. When it looked very bleak, they just did a, a weird force buy and were able to come back into the game. Just happened again. Part of that could be lulling their enemy into a false sense of security. Hiko going to be opping on T side. Hiko's been playing B solo and getting a few picks here. One player inside of Checker right now. Oh no, that player is actually upper. That's Freiburg. Now going into Checker. The battle for mid commences. Forrest holds it down though, but loses get right and Fiflaren. Big round for the Terrace. Three players getting ready to push into bombsite B. Forest moves in to help with this. So this is going to be a strong B hold off. Even though counter terrorists are down a man. They have two players here against these three. Freiburg being aggressive. Does pay for it. Now just Forrest left. One versus three. Takes out nothing. He's got an ace for the win here. Probably not going to happen. Gare's already in position to deal with this. And does spray him down. That's the round. Complexity now wins two in a row and is back into this game. All right, ninjas in pajamas will have to save here. I don't expect ninjas in pajamas to do the crazy four spies. If they were complexity right now, I'd expect a Fama spy, but... We'll be saving up, giving this round a complexity in order to get weapons on the next round. Hiko once again opping over at B. It's a difficult round. So it's a stack A. Freiburg trying to catch Hiko off guard. We'll be hiding in a little corner here. On these save rounds, it's a good idea to try to catch your opponents off guard. To try and get in the little nooks and crannies of the map and jump out and surprise them. Because that's all you can really hope for. When you're at such a weapon disadvantage. We have three CZs though. All inside of A. So it's a, it's a coin flip. It's a if complexity tries to take A... Ninjas in Pajamas has a chance of holding it off. And we've seen, when there hasn't been any tells, when there hasn't been any peaks or anything, Complexity's been going A nearly every time. Gare's now peeking out, getting ready to move to the site. Two players in there. Anger with the nice entries. Get right, getting ready to peek. Anger with another frag. That's three. Now just Freiburg left. He's in T-spawn. Hiko waiting for him. Looking like Freiburg was hunting Hiko down, but Hiko was lying in wait. Ninjas in pajamas, seven to complexities, five. All right. Now it is the buy round. Time for ninjas in pajamas to get back into this. Complexity just got a huge, huge momentum boost there. Three rounds in a row. Giving them a chance to get back and uh, make this a good game here. This is game number two of this best of three series. So if Ninjas in Pajamas wins it, pushes it into game number three. Otherwise, if Complexity wins it, GG, it's over. And Forrest looking through that smoke, waiting for it to clear. His enemy is Freiburg. Fiflaren boosted up into the vents. This is a difficult spot to deal with. 
Because again, you don't usually expect a player to be there. Three players playing at middle. Semphis usually gets boosted up at this point. Gare's continuing to play the door. Playing it like he has been playing it every round. Not boosting Semphis up, so they're going for just a hard A tank here. They've even rotated Hiko back. And he's playing, uh, he's playing the lurk position with an AWP. Terra's getting ready to push into the site. The flashes are out. The smokes are out. Here they come. Exist. In between flashes is able to take those players down. Again holding it down. That's a three frag. Anger moves into the site. One versus two now. Again exist. MVP over here for Ninjas in Pajamas. Continuing to hold off bomb site A. And give Ninjas in Pajamas a fighting chance on these rounds. Where Complexity does an aggressive A take. One versus two now. He knows where one of them is. Doesn't know where Fiflarin is. Is peeking at A main. Burn the witch. Oh no. Gotta force anger out and he will go down to Freiburg from the other position. Hey, uh, you yeah, Molotov your own bomb there. Alright, there you go. We'll be defusing that thing. Ninjas in pajamas putting themselves at eight points for the half. What I mean by that is that they will be ending the half ahead by at least one point now. So there's two rounds left. Complexity has a chance to put it at seven, and that'll be pretty much a tied game at that point. All right, buy up. Buy Complexity for this round. They've been playing this nearly the same way every single time. So they split up. Gares goes over to the uh, blue door. Semphis plays the boost spot. Sometimes they boost two players. A little bit sloppy boost there. Hiko generally plays B, so that's a little bit of a switch up by just bringing Hiko over here to bombsite A. And it's looking like they're just going to try to take this site again. Oh, if they can catch Exist off guard, that'll be huge. Because he's the one they're having trouble with. Get right picks off two players, though. Exist is down. Now is the chance for Terrace to push into this site. Three versus three. Another pick by Anger. Anger doing a brilliant job on this half. Most of those entries into bombsite A have been from Anger. And those have been the point rounds for complexity. All right. Counter Terrace moving in. Fiflaren and Freiburg. Eco taking the forward position here. Oh, Freiburg with a nade on Anger. They seem to know where he is. Hiko trying to do the spray down. Now a one versus one. And Gares is able to end it on Fiflaren. Fiflaren trades. It's not what you want to do in a 1v2. And that puts Complexity at six points. It is now the last round of the half. Looking, looking good for both teams. It is pretty even here. However, forced by from Ninjas in Pajamas. And we got the Mag 7 here. On get right, the rest of them got an armor pistol. We got two deagles as well. All right, let's see if terrorists do the exact same thing. No, they're splitting it up big time this time. Boosting Semphis up again. I think they heard the Mag-7. Oh, that's because there's a decoy. Mag-7 decoy at mid. Oh, get right looks right at nothing through there. He can do a jump shot here. What? Nothing? Come on now. Get right finally goes down with some uh, silliness at middle. Wow, puts it into a three versus three. Exist can grab some guns. Terra's trying to push into bomb side B. On this pivotal round, it's now just Hiko left. And will it be a force five for the win? Hiko with a brilliant spray down now. A one versus one against Exist. Comparable health, but it won't matter. Exist takes him down, and that is the half. Ninjas in Pajamas will start it a little bit ahead, and we shall resume when these players are ready for the second half. Players are now ready for the second half. Ninjas in Pajamas starting it up ahead 9-6, to six, now taking the T-side. So it's all going to be up to the complexity holdoff here. All right, goodbyes. And three players with armor here on the T-side, Ninjas in Pajamas. Two players, Freiburg and Exist, going to play assist with the... Nades and flashes. And looking like they're just going to execute an A side take. And that's it. Oh, where are these smokes? These smokes. I want to see them. There they go. Right in the middle of the site. Anger is not really affected by that, though. Where's the other smoke? Flash is over. Very good. Control of the map is Terrace now moving on this all-important pistol round. Counter-Terrace still up at quad. That's going to be Semphis. Gares moves in as well. 
And that will give the site to the terrorists. But they are injured. Three versus two now. Hiko and nothing. Trying to retake this thing. Players are super low. This is definitely a doable retake here. Hiko has met up with nothing. Thinks that there's a lurk player. If he flare him with a nice shot on nothing, that might have been it right there. One versus three now as Hiko moves in. And he's got armor. He's got a huge advantage. Nice flick shot on get right. It was trying to move in from behind. Very good reflexes. Exist at quad. Fake defusing. And will go down to exist. Ninjas in pajamas holds it up, but a very nice attempt there. By complexity for the retake. All right, that pistol round win from Ninjas in Pajamas gives it a very high chance of winning for uh, for Ninjas in Pajamas now, taking the T-side pistol after already being ahead. Second round will be an armor pistol buy from Complexity. 257s, 3CZ. And looking like they're going to be boosting a player. That will be Forrest. He's the player without a weapon. Terra's trying to take mid-control now. Two players playing inside of B, three inside of A. They're stacking the site, boosting players up into crazy spots. Anger in a very defensible position. And uh, pre-nades not helping. Terra's have the bomb, looking like they want to take B side now. Moving into the site, here's Gidright. Doing entries. Normally when you see Gidright somewhere, it means... Oh, they're going the other way. He's just playing Lurk, but this time looks like Kid Wright is going to be doing the entry. And he's waiting for his teammate there. Who is that? That is Fiflaren. I'm wondering if they're bringing in an entry fragger. Oh, here comes Exist. Yep, gonna, Exist is going to go into the site. And nothing's down low. They don't know about Hiko yet. Down to 7 health. Freiburg moving in. Here comes the cavalry. Oh, Hiko catches him off guard from behind. Nice job. Zephyrus with the CZ from above. Three versus three now. Doable situation. Health will go to the CTs. Zephyrus runs out of ammo. Gares now has no ammo. Zephyrus apparently is going to be the player with the gun. Now switching back. That's the danger of using that CZ. What really can he do? He's knifing. Oh, he found one of those guns inside of the spawn. Smart move. We'll now be moving back to join the fight. Will the counter-terrorists try to do the retake, or will they save? And it looks like they will be saving. There's not enough time to win it. Going back to grab his empty CZ. And Terrace will exit over to T-spawn side. So that round will go to Ninjas in Pajamas, but we have three armors for the next round for complexity. And two terrorists die on the exit. That was sloppy. Just lost two guns. Two armor. Ninjas in Pajamas doesn't seem to be aware of the bomb radius on this map. This is not a map that they play very often. It's clear that they did some kind of a boot camp or something for it before it, because they got some crazy smokes. They got some really nice smokes and, and flashes on this map. We see them running around, ready for them with the smokes out. But not aware of that bomb radius. Oh, sees one player checker. Doesn't know about nothing. Nothing right around that corner. He's going to nade it. And could wallbang this player. Get up front. Oh, get right. Excellent reflex shot. Takes out nothing. Hiko beats. Just call him Pico. One versus five, and he will be dead. Ninjas in pajamas now leads it 12 to 6 against complexity. And that will be a buy round here for complexity. They really have to win this round. This is the chance for them to get back that momentum, try to stop Ninjas in Pajamas, because Ninjas in Pajamas getting further and further ahead. Complexity's got to win two rounds now to try and force them into a save. So it's time for Complexity to start winning out. Man. Jarrah's going for picks. Two players playing B. Now the difference. Oh, he's flaring very far forward here. Complexity was always sending one player here at B. Forrest takes the frags over here at middle, still charging forward. Is he able to take out Gares? Nope, Gares finally takes him down. Will trade with Gidright. 
good enough. I mean, he just picked two players and traded himself for one, so huge advantage now to the Ninjas in Pajamas as they have taken mid control. Looking like they are deciding where they want to go at this point. Haven't yet. Just holding middle. One minute left. Plenty of time. So forcing CTs to make the move. Here's Anger at middle. Could catch exist. Off guard. Yes, he will. Trying to even up the playing field here. Terrace now deciding to move over to bombsite A. They know that one player is middle. They're going to leave Gid right here just in case. Player is at truck. Seems to be aware of it. Trying to tap shoot him down. Goes into a full spray but cannot control it. And will be dying. Anger again. Now at two francs. Was able to pick those two francs up. Put it into a two versus two. And it's doing a great job. Ego getting ready to move into the site. We got Freiburg. And Fiflaren. Holding off Freiburg from quad. Fiflaren from A main. Bomb is planted way out in the open for A main. So this is good. All they have to do is hide Fiflaren. Oh, Fiflaren goes down. Hiko hunting him down. Bomb will be going down. Does Freiburg have enough time to escape? His pants are red. And he's up to his neck in red, but he will survive. All right, Ninjas in Pajamas now. 13 points. Definitely leading here. That was a huge blow. That round was a huge blow to Complexity. They are in some serious trouble now. They are in dire straits. They are buying up, though. They got some Fomuses. Got a Mag-7. On nothing. But again, looking very good for Ninjas in Pajamas. Ninjas in Pajamas has been winning all of the uh, critical rounds. Look how aggressively... Oh, goodness, they had the players trying to boost one up into uh, the vents here. And as they were doing it, Fiflaren, who was flashed, almost killed him. However, Fiflaren will get picked. They've been pushing Fiflaren out there very quickly. And it's, it's oh, nice nade by Exist. It's sort of reminiscent of how they play um, Nuke outside. And they boost the player up over the box nearly every time and get him in a position you don't expect him to be. And uh, has good vision. Prevents CT movements. Mag7 taken out two players. Now grabs himself an M4. Will be spraying them down. That is a three frag there. Putting Forrest into a one versus three. And one player hiding inside of the site. Excellent job. By nothing. Nothing can stop the ninjas in pajamas. And Garrus takes down Forrest. That's going to be the win there. For Complexity is now their chance to get back into this game. All right, 13 points. Ninjas in Pajamas has enough money to buy. They will be spending all their money on this round, though. Next round. If Complexity is able to win it, going to force them into a save. That is huge. Complexity really needs to, needs to make this happen. So we're on another critical round here. Ninjas in pajamas, if they take it, will put themselves at 14 points. Looking like they're not even worried about B this time. Rotating all their players over, just leaving Exist to watch in case they try to push through B. Nothing very far forward here. At mid. Trying to take that mid control. Terrorists. Whole bunch of players here getting ready to push out. Nothing goes down. Good flashes. Terrorists all moving down middle. And they have successfully taken that mid control. And... Three players inside of A. They're very A heavy. And we have a complexity logo. All meshed up. Floating in the upper right. Strangest thing I ever did see. Gare's able to take him down. Terrace at middle. Nice shot by Exist. Anger right around the corner. Exist picks off another frag. Freiburg already in the sight. Picks off Zemphis. Now just Eco left. One versus four. Ninjas in pajamas. Looking like they're going to push this into a game at number two here. Seiko moves up. Doesn't have a lot of time. Bomb just planted. One counter terrorist moving a flank. Ex exist. Exist goes down. Hiko moves into the side. Now a one versus two. Bomb is planted for A main. Fiflaren ready for it. And Gidright takes him down. From the highway. From middle. And that's going to put Ninjas in Pajamas at 14 points. Nice attempt. Oh no. 
Complexity, gonna have to force buy here, does not want to push this into an overtime. They do not have the money for this round, but they are gonna be buying up, they have to. Another Mag 7, this time on Gears. May want to throw that thing over to nothing after that last round. Alright, Dara sending two players here. Let's, let's just watch Fiflaren. Oh, are they gonna push him out? They see Gares getting boosted up. They are able to get away, though. I think that nade was meant to go into checkers. Instead, get right charges forward. Trying to catch nothing off guard. But that's gonna open him up to Gares. There's a trade. And Gares able to grab that AK-47 off of Get right. Not sure he should have pushed forward there. He knew there was a player at checkers. Forrest sneaking through behind enemy lines. Hiko completely unaware of this. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now just anger left. One versus four. And does take out Freiburg. We'll get that weapon. AK-47 up. One versus three now. This is the moment that defines a player. One versus three. Timer ticking down. Gotta win the round. And excellent pick on Forrest. Moving into the site. Knows where Free Flaren is. Doesn't have time to, to play around with him. Taking a forward position. Trying to find this Terrace. Thinks he's inside of the site. Doing everything right here, but it's such a difficult situation. Fake. Diffusing. Takes a nade for Flaren. Finally moving in and ending anger. Very nice attempt. Alright, that puts ninjas in pajamas at match point now. Money hurt. Complexity. What can they do? All they can really do is an armor pistol. And they will do two deagles. We got some five sevens and a CZ. Such a difficult round here. Complexity's got to win out for the rest of this thing and push it into an overtime. But there are just too many rounds to make that happen. It's going to take a miracle for them to win this game. The odds are definitely against them. All right, anger sneaking through. They're trying some different stuff now. Smokes her, thrown for an A-take. And... Anger gets him when he turns to check the corner. But it is not enough. Terra's charging into the site here as Freiburg checking it out. Semphis with a nice deagle shot. Terra's moving forward, will be planting that bomb. Semphis from above finally goes down to Exist, who's playing from Quad. Lots of smokes and uh, flashes and aids being thrown here. Terra's moving around the map. Forrest in a forward position. Takes out nothing, and that is the game, pushing it into a game number three. Thank you, folks, very much for watching. Stay tuned for game number three. There should be an annotation link there when the game number three is up. Thank you, folks, very much for watching. I am the War Owl, and I still have no closer.